How do you figure out the area of a scale drawing? In this lesson, you will learn to generate the area of a scaled rectangle by using scale dimensions. Let's review. A scale factor is a number by which all the dimensions of an original figure are multiplied to produce the dimensions of a new figure. In this example, we multiply width and length times the scale factor of 2 to equal scaled width and length of 2 and 4 centimeters. Notice the unit of measures are the same and also notice how the area has changed. To change the size of a drawing, multiply the dimensions by the scale factor. The dimensions in this drawing are the length and width. To generate a scale drawing, multiply the width times the scale factor for the new width and multiply the length by the same scale factor for the new length. The length and width must be multiplied by the same scale factor. The new length and width are the dimensions of the scale drawing. Notice how the area of the scale drawing also changes. Let's fi to find the area of a rectangle, multiply the length times the width. Let's take a closer look at the area of a scale drawing. The original drawing has dimensions of one unit by one unit for length and width. When we multiply by a scale factor of two, the scale drawing has dimensions of two by two units. As you can see, multiplying the original area by the scale factor does not generate the scaled area. You can see the scale area is four square units by counting the units in the scale drawing. Let's put this in a table and see if we can recognize any patterns as we learn to generate scale area from scale dimensions. Original side lengths one by one units, factor scale two, scaled side lengths two by two units, original area one square unit, scaled area four square units. Now let's generate a scale drawing with a scale factor of three. The original drawing has the dimensions of one unit by one unit for length and width. When we multiply by a scale factor of three, the scale drawing has dimensions of three by three units. You can see by the units in the scale drawing that the scaled area is nine square units. Now we will add this to our table and continue with the pattern. Again, let's generate a scale drawing, this time with a scale factor of four. The original drawing dimensions once again are one unit by one unit for length and width. When we multiply by a scale factor of four, the scale drawing has dimensions of four by four units. Again, you can see by the units in the scale drawing that the area is now 16 square units. Let's enter the data from the scale factor of four into our table. You may have noticed that the scaled area can be generated like the original area by multiplying the scaled length times the scaled width. If we continue with this pattern, increasing the scale factor by one each time and applying it to the same original one by one rectangle, notice how the scaled area increases by much larger amount each time the scale factor increases by one. Let's generate a scale drawing with a scale factor of eight on the same original one by one rectangle. Can you fill in the table with the scale dimensions and scale area? Let's see if you are correct. What is the scaled area of the scale rectangle with a scale factor of eight? Let's see the results with our rectangle model. The original drawing has dimensions of one unit by one unit for length and width. When we multiply by a scale factor of eight, the scale drawing has dimensions of eight by eight units. You can see by the units in the scale drawing that the area is now 64 square units. The 64 is generated by multiplying the new scale dimensions of eight times eight. Multiply the length and width of the scale dimensions for the scaled area of 64 square units. As we complete our table with the scale factor of eight data, 
Do you notice how much larger the scale the area grows each time the scale factor is increased by 1? Remember the scale factor is a multiplier of two dimensions of length and width. Multiplying the scale dimensions that have already been increased by the scale factor generates the area. A common misunderstanding is thinking that multiplying the original area by the scale factor generates the scaled area. This is incorrect. If you remember the scale factor has already increased the original length and width by, the, by that factor, you will understand that it doesn't make sense to multiply the original area by the scale factor. Generate the scaled area by multiplying scaled length times scaled width. 2 times 4 equals 8 square centimeters. In this lesson you have learned to generate the area of a scaled rectangle by multiplying scaled dimensions.